It's very rewarding to take an animal that nobody else wants to give a chance to. It's the most rewarding thing. I have a girlfriend who had a rescue where I was working, Deborah, who I called her up and I said, there was a blind mini pincher at the rescue. And she said, I don't think I can do that. And I said, it will be the most rewarding thing you ever do in your life. So she adopted the blind dog and now the dog sees. She had operations on the eyes, her and her husband, George. I mean, I don't want to leave George out, but um, both of them. And so she made a blind dog see. And then he's a killer. Now, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't he look like a goldfish in a fur coat? <laughs> This is Augustine. This is Mona Lisa. This is Cornelius. Cornelius. Cornelius sings. Oh, sole mio. <laughs> Bravissima! <laughs> you do know that animal people are crazy. I just brought anything home that was on the street. So I wanted to give it a home. I'm sorry if I start crying. I guess it's. I think because I was needed. I don't know. I think that's the only reason. I just knew I was needed and uh, I don't know how much I wanted to do it because I'm a little allergic to dogs too. <laughs> but it became something then I had to do. I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I don't think you can just, I'm sure it's great when you donate money to rescues, but you've got to do both. You've got to be there physically, walk the dogs, find them homes, take them to the vet, take care of the people that are elderly and can't get there on their own, and um, give some money too. <laughs> so when Chris and I first met, I wasn't a vegan. He used to get really angry at me, you know. So I said, Chris, all I really eat is calamari. And he said, do you know what an intelligent mollusk that is? Do you think I ever ate calamari again? Every time I looked at a calamari, I, I saw it with a book. <laughs> and a pair of glasses. I'd love to see people just one day a week eat like a vegan. You know what a change that would make in the world? Just one day a week, if everybody did it. How, and two days, whoa. Is it gonna kill you guys? Chris has made unbelievable changes. Unbelievable changes. Um, I was in a car one time with someone who said, because of you, where when we test on animals in, in the labs, because of you, he went like this to me, and I went, me? because of Chris. <laughs> we have to have one animal in a cage. I said, you shouldn't have any animals in any cages. But even that right there, to think that when they used to test on animals, that they used to cram them in cages and they're now at least they're treated humanely. And I think that's because of Chris. I know it's because of Chris. Well, I'm overly flattered. I never thought I'd hear my name associated with Albert Schweitzer. Albert Schweitzer and Shera. I don't know about that. <laughs> but um, thank you. And uh, I guess I really like it, huh? <laughs> you know what I want to say to Chris? I just want to tell you I love you and thank you for everything you've done for all these years, for all these animals, for all the people here tonight and for me and for the future. And you've made a big difference. Thanks. <laughs>